Washington. Keegan and I are here celebrating our one year anniversary. Actually, we've been here for a couple days already. The first few days we were actually spending time with some family. This house that we're staying in is actually my grandparents' vacation house and they're so generously letting us stay here. It is absolutely gorgeous, but most of the family has left now, so we are spending the next few days on just Keegan and I enjoying some time together. And today we're gonna be going to Seattle. I'm super excited. I haven't been there in years. We're gonna go to Pike's Market and we aren't quite sure what else. I'm gonna look up a couple of fun things to do. Maybe check out a fun restaurant. So I will take you guys along with me and let's go. Okay, we are back from Seattle, back from the market. We had a really good time. It was honestly such a perfect Seattle day. It was like a little bit drizzly, a little bit chilly, but overall like really nice and kind of cozy. So I got just a couple of things from the market there that I thought I'd show you. They're mostly just gifts for my grandma because we're staying at their house. First thing is this bouquet. It's actually a dried bouquet and it is gorgeous and it's still super colorful. And I was a little nervous that the other flowers wouldn't last as long as I wanted them to until I actually end up giving this to my grandma. When I saw these, I was like, these are perfect and they'll last for a long time for her. And I got just a couple of these tote bags. I'll just show you one of them because I got two of them, one for me and one for my grandma. I think they're absolutely adorable. They say hike place market on them and they have like a really cute floral print. So super fun canvas tote bag. And I got this olive oil. It is Desert Miracle brand extra virgin olive oil. It looks super good. I think giving olive oil as a gift is super fun. And so that is one other thing that I'm going to give her. Okay, and the last things that I got were just a couple little candies. I got some chocolate. This is an almond or almond, however you say it, butter chocolate. I thought this would be super cute, super tasty, hopefully super fun to try. And I got this little candy. Was it partly because of the cute packaging? Maybe, but it's a hard candy with mint and licorice. And I know that my grandpa likes licorice. It seems a little unique. It says hard candy made by hand using orange blossom honey produced by black honeybees, mint and licorice. So. Sounds very interesting. Thought it would be a fun little thing for them to try. And that's it. And we're just gonna spend the rest of the evening here at home. Keegan's making some orange chicken and we'll just eat our dinner here and just kind of relax the rest of the day. It was super fun, but kind of exhausting. We ended up being in a lot of traffic on the way home, so we were on the road for quite a while. So we're excited to be back and excited to just kind of wind down for the rest of the evening.
happy Thursday. Keegan and I have just been enjoying a really chill, relaxing morning here. Later this afternoon, we're gonna go to a place called Paradise Lodge. I think that maybe there's some like trails to walk around on and I think it's gonna be really pretty, but we don't have a lot on the agenda today. Just kind of enjoying our house here, enjoying the scenery. It's super fun to go visit a lot of places, but also we want to really soak up the beauty that's right here. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a brief house tour to kind of show you guys where we're staying. So let's go do that. All right. The first place to walk into from this door is our laundry room. It's a little loud because we're doing some laundry this morning, but if we walk over here, we have our kitchen area with, of course, a gorgeous view. We have fancy microwave, an oven, a stove, and over here is our dining room table. I think this is technically the front door right here. And then we just have this little area over here with an ironing board. We haven't really used that a whole lot. The little bar area. Hello, Keegan. <laughs> He's reading his book. This is the little living room. I love all these huge windows. We actually closed this one because we were watching something earlier and we had a little bit of a glare, but we have this little cozy area to watch things and to hang out. And there's one of our bathrooms. And I'll just show you downstairs just really quickly. There's several bedrooms and bathrooms back there and we have this lower deck area another cozy place to watch something and hang out we'll go back upstairs and then i will show you the upstairs area which is our master suite that we're staying at oh i see keegan <laughs> all right and we have this gorgeous view which is just so nice to wake up to every morning i'm absolutely loving it we usually are getting up earlier just because it gets really bright in there and it's super nice i know i've shown you guys this but i just can't get enough it's so pretty and there's this boat out here that is always there and then we come back in here and this is our bedroom there's also this little office area back here that's really nice Keegan has enjoyed that a little bit and here is our big closet kind of messy we've been living out of our suitcases I'm curious do you guys like unpack when you go on trips or do you also live out of your suitcases? I am just lazy so I live out of my suitcase but also it gets really messy and not super organized so I maybe should be unpacking. I'm just curious what you know the general population does and we have our bathroom that and this is our big walk-in shower with two uh shower heads which feels super fancy for keegan and i and that's the house Okay, so we had a little change of plans. We were gonna go to Paradise Lodge, a neat mountain area, but we're gonna do that tomorrow because we didn't realize that. It's two and a half hours away. And we're getting a later start to our day. So it's we think- <laughs> We think that it would be better to do it starting in the morning, so we'll do it tomorrow. But we kind of thought it would be fun to go get tennis rackets and play tennis. So, change of plans part two. We went in to get our tennis rackets and we realized that they're really big and we're not gonna be able to take them home with us. And they're almost $20 each. So we were kind of debating if we wanted to. And then I saw the pickleball rackets, which are, I don't know if you can tell, but they're quite a bit smaller. 
Neither of us have ever played pickleball. I don't know if it's like a new game or if it's been around forever. I've been hearing a lot of people talking about it lately, so we're kind of late to the game. We're gonna have to kind of look up some rules, figure out how to play it, but I'm kind of excited to learn it, to learn a new game. Maybe it'll be like our new thing to do together. He's trying to find a tennis court to play it. I'm hoping that you can just play it in any tennis court. Here's to learning a new game. What is our verdict on pickleball? I will want to play it again. It was a lot of fun. It definitely took me a little bit to get the hang of. Of course, Keegan being a natural athlete was a pro right away. Crushed it. Not so much for me, but I started to get the hang of it towards the end. It was super fun. I wonder where our nearest pickleball court is in Ohio. I don't know if we have one around us because we do, it doesn't really there. work in a tennis court, at least these ones, but luckily they actually had pickleball courts here. Like actual pickleball courts. Yeah, they had four of them, so. So maybe our landlord will let us put pickleball lines in the parking lot of his business. Yes. Well, we are going to head back home. I kind of want to chill out a little bit. We might go by the uh, waterfront, enjoy some of that, maybe sit down there a little bit. Is that a clam? It was a clam. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. Cause we're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now. Good morning. I kind of cut the vlog off short last night. We just ended up going to Hibachi Grill, which was kind of on my list of things to do while we were out here because I haven't been to one in years. I wasn't sure if you were like allowed to film in there, so I just like didn't bring my camera and I didn't film anything there. Kia and I just enjoyed a nice date night and the food was so good. It did not disappoint. Anyways, it is Friday. It's our last day here. Sadly, we leave tomorrow morning, but we have thoroughly enjoyed our time here and I'm excited for today. We are hoping to find trails somewhere. We kind of need to do our research. The place that I was telling you about yesterday that we wanted to go is a couple of hours away and we kind of talked about it and neither of us really felt like making the drive so we kind of want to try to find someplace a little bit more local. It's definitely gorgeous here so I'm sure that there's probably some trails or neat places to walk around that are just a little bit closer. So we'll probably head there after breakfast this morning and that's kind of all we have on our agenda today obviously we probably want to do a couple more things I honestly want to play pickleball again I don't know if we'll have time we need to pack up and just get everything ready to leave early tomorrow morning so that's the plan for today So after doing some research and just debating if we really want to drive two hours because the trails just like a couple hours away look so beautiful and it's quite tempting. But we kind of figured out like timing wise kind of doesn't make a lot of sense for us. Like I don't know if it would be worth it. But there's a trail like 20 minutes away from us. It's called Rock Candy Mountain Trail. And it's cold and foggy so we're not really sure how good the views would have been anyway. Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of a foggier day. We're gonna check this one out. We need some exercise, we need to get moving, so let's do it.
just stopped at a super cute ice cream shop or like ice cream truck and I got their salted cookies and cream and it said on the sign that it was their most popular flavor so I knew I needed to try it and I also love cookies and cream and that like little salty touch is so good and what did you get? Yeah, mint chocolate chip except it's not like green like most of them because there's not a bunch of artificial dye in it. We love that. Well, you know, I'm kind of big on artificial dye, but it's still really good. It's just like mint ice cream that's not green with chunked up Andy's mint Ooh. pieces in it. And it's, oh, it's pretty good. Good ice cream. You're in the Olympia area. I would recommend Sweetly's. Sweetly's ice cream truck. Not sponsored.